make a motion to pay the bills as presented. I'll second the motion to pay the bills as presented. Two years in the one book. I can't do that anymore. No. salt used, had one burial at Bunker Hill, used a load of black top, no other materials used. We put six inch drain pipe in the administration building up here, helped Rob get pipe lined up and got him measured up, put pipe in his ditch out there on Smith Goshen, which is about 450 feet. Uh, we finished cutting the berm up on Stratton Road, did some skin patching on Seacrest, fixed the poles on Malmesbury and Calla, started cutting the berm on Smith Goshen on the 17th from 165 North and finished doing that about the 23rd. Uh, we cut limbs down at Damascus Park that was hanging out, hitting the flag and over top of the roof on the pavilion, patched the holes on the rear tan drive, uh, started crack sealing on North Sea Crest, cleaned up cement up here that they tore out, picked up supplies to fix the catch basin on the mill drive that was falling in. Uh, we, we borrowed road plates from the county, we went up and got them. Uh, 
we fixed the catch basin at the mill drive and I would like to bring up, I would like to replace that big culvert at Loris Photography out there on Smith Cushion. I mean we could set the end ones back but they're just going to come out again maybe here later on this fall we can maybe get that replaced. What size is that one? That one's like a 40 inch inside. So I imagine what we'll to get like a 42. I think they, they're kind of odd sizes, them cement ones. Oh, yeah. 40 feet will do it. We didn't get any prices or anything yet, but I think we can do that in a day without a problem. Mm -hmm. Might have to get a little help from Smith, maybe hauling something away or in or. But, yeah. That would like, keep him happy. That's that guy that called me. Yeah, he, yeah. we went out and talked to him. It's yeah. kind of bothering him. But, yeah. I mean, we could set them back in, but they're the big eight-foot ones, and yeah. they'll stay for a few years, but they're just going to keep sliding apart, too. Yeah. So, And the hole on his side, I mean, it's like probably four foot deep where it's washed out. Maybe we can get some cement and lay around in there and so it don't wash out Maybe so bad. Maybe there's a big riprap down in there. Or yeah. Um, I've got a bunch of concrete sl broke up slab at home that Good. you're welcome to have. So we need some for Momsbury Road too on that yeah. hill. Whenever you want it, I'll load it with a loader and put in the truck for you. So. Oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And there's a guy down on um, Garfield. They got a pile out beside their barn. Yeah. I've been going to stop and talk to them about too. I mean, it's yeah. not. Rodney has some, but it's too thick. It's an old corn crib uh, yeah. base, and I mean, it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's probably about four or five. That's inches about the perfect thick. size. It's some of the old concrete from back in the forties, so it's good stuff. And it's, yeah. You know, and that's all I have. Okay. I'll take a. I'm going to take a look at that culvert. I'll. Yeah, get some prices on it and so we get stuff laid out what we need to okay. go from there. So I called them months back. Yeah. It, it's kind of expensive, but you don't never have to do it again either. Yeah. So I yeah. think we can put grindings around it. Yeah. Might have to rent a uh, plate tamper mm -hmm. so it don't settle so much, but yeah. other than that it's not too tough. Yeah. The depth is pretty much right on that one. Does it need changed? Or? We could maybe drop six or eight inches if we wanted to, but. How much covering is over it on the road? Very little. That's right why I thought now. it was getting pretty shallow there. So. Yeah. If we get a little more cover, it'd be better for it. So. There's no bells or nothing poking through, but yeah. it is starting to get a hole out on the road a little further from the berm. There's been one on the berm for a while. <coughs> Okay. We've been throwing stuff in, but okay. I think that's the groundhog going there. <laughs> but now there's one out further, so it looks like the next joint might be separated too. So okay, I'd just say take them out and not have to mess with them no more. Yeah, I mean if we're just tearing up the road to do it from back, I mean we might as well fix it right and be done right. with it. So. Don't have to worry about it no more and yeah. be done. You or I won't have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thanks. He's going to be here. He might have got called in to work tonight. Yeah. You just got something to work. Yeah. So. Oh, you got the report. Okay. You can call calls in, but he's yeah. still doing that. The fire department had a total of 38 calls in July. Uh, they did 17 EMS call runs, 13 in Goshen, 3 in Butler, 1 other. And they had 21 fire calls. He did one inspection consulting, and he noted that the building at State Route 14 in Pine Lake is in what appears to be unsafe condition. I'll be looking into that. I suppose that's my choices. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, I'm actually going to talk to the Board of Health about that tomorrow. <laughs> it is deplorable. I can't believe it. Then he asked the question Is there any progress on checking on who inspects the railroad? That's done railroad. by the railroad. I did yeah. check with O'Donnell. That's done by the railroad. Yeah. Can you get back with him on that then? With, with I can. Or, I just Eric wants to know. 
Yeah. Well, he's the one asking. Yeah. 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 You want to tell him? Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Okay, Paul. I don't know how much you want to cover right now. I see you've got stuff down below here. Yeah, we're going to go over your prices now. And basically what's what we was, I was waiting on was the minutes from last meeting and we got all the prices that we approved in here. So we're going to sort of transfer them to your sheet. When it really changes the car, tires, you had so many blocks in there and we didn't approve it that way. We, we had it like we had you last year. So you had so many different prices on the car tires yeah. and what we actually approved was just two different prices. So. Well, you, yeah. you made a remark that I forgot to the last 10. Yeah. So I put them in there. Yeah. But uh, on the one that you put in for this year, you had 10, the next 10, and then the next 10, and then over 30. I mean, we didn't have all those breaks in what we approved. So. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't what? We didn't have all those different brackets. We only had two brackets for the car tires instead of all those brackets. So, actually, the passenger tires are uh, two dollars, and uh, the first ten were a buck, and then from then on it's two bucks, and then if they're on rims, over two and a quarter. Is that no way? Is that what it says? Or? Well, we don't have the first ten, but I know we. I, I'm sure we approved the first ten and the buck, didn't we? Yeah. 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 So we need to. Well, that needs to be yeah, revised. Need to, you need to revise that. Now we're saying that. So. So first ten a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Then after that, two dollars and two twenty-five on a room instead of three, because the new one's on three. He has the six then. Yeah. So at eleven through whatever is two bucks. Yeah. And one through ten is a buck. Yeah. And then that rim. I'll also. take a look at that. I don't know why we can't go with it. I mean, it's not, it hasn't been advertised. Nothing's been advertised. No, so that's why. Yeah. I mean. And then we have to change that. Because on the room, we only approve 850. Yeah. Okay. But the rest of it was okay. Just that wording. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only, the only change to the minutes, and uh, we'll have to correct that, uh, is adding that one to ten as a buck. Because I think we did approve it that way, didn't we? I thought it was just two dollars. Just two dollars across the board. That's okay. Well, we're, we're fine doing that. Then let's. Now we want to change the minutes. Let's just. Yeah, two I bucks, thought that's so. what we had approved was okay. two dollars just straight. Okay, that's that's fine. Then. Was okay. Anything that I, that's what I wrote down. Yeah. I assume yeah. that's okay. no, that that fine. Discussion about yep. that. Yeah, that's fine. So, okay. So after the meeting here, Paul, when we're done, we'll come up and we'll give you these exact figures and we'll make sure everything's right uh, before so you that's before that's you leave. All so. this but yeah. two dollars and then mm -hmm. the rim is two twenty five, not three dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. okay. And then also on the rim eight fifty instead of nine. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that so straight. So the minutes is okay. Yeah, yeah, the minutes will be okay. So okay. You okay with that, Paul? We'll straighten out after the meeting here and yeah. We'd already approved everything. It's just what you had and what we had was two different things. We'll get it all, all ironed out. So, okay, okay. Uh, anything else, Paul? Nope. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, I didn't look today, but the flag up at um, the mass is being replaced. I got a new one here. I'm going to send over. Wasn't putting up till Paul got the trees trimmed over there because it was catching the flag, and uh, I've got a new one back here for there. So Perfect. Yeah. I'll send it to somebody over and we'll get it up. So yeah. I appreciate you seeing that. <laughs> okay. Steve had to go to the boys' meeting tonight, so 
I've got uh, his reports here. Uh, had a total of 344 events in the uh, month of July. Put 9,845 miles on the cruisers. And uh, if anybody wants to see the breakdown, I have it up here. Uh, the detective Bury activity is new cases were 11, cases closed were 7, cases remaining open are 7. And, uh, uh, I guess you'll want that. That's the total report for you. Um, the only other uh, thing we have is I'd like to make a motion for a resignation from Amir Khan. Effective 8 17, 2018. He got a full time job at the hospital, so mm -hmm. he's leaving here. So. I'll second the motion. Roll call, Lucy Beeson? Yes. Mr. McCracken? Yes. Mr. Stratton? Yes. Okay. Well, that's all that was on that, unless you had something else. That I do not. Okay. I have a question about that. Oh. You, your you mileage went up you about go. 50% this time. It was around 6,000 something last time. Yeah. And it went up to 9,800. So. You doing anything different or? No, we're not doing anything different. I know our mileage was actually down slightly and we were asked to try and get it up. So we started, especially over in green with our contract. Yeah. So we started trying to put on about 100 miles a shift over in green. So that's probably what contributed to most of the increase. Okay. Those extra miles in green. All right. Tom. I'd like to thank Tom for the fine job that he's doing up here. He's on it was, you know, right where it should be. That yeah. yours is. So, uh, mm -hmm. It's nice to know that you got it. It's where it's supposed to be. You don't have to no. sit and just comfortable or not. Trying to figure out what's what. What's what? Where it's at. I mean, that's where it should be. So, I appreciate that. I just got one thing I want to say. I just, um, I, I retired from the, the Master's Fire Department. I knew you were going to. Yes, I am. Okay. It's tough. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve this township for. <coughs> A little over 43 years. I mean, it's yeah. changed. The fire department has changed, as anybody that's known. So a lot of people have helped, and hope hopefully that it's been done. But it, uh, it's been a pleasure and an honor. I'm still going to be an active member, but will not as uh, participate and have everything I can do except running. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't want to hurt somebody, and I don't want somebody else to get hurt mm -hmm. trying to save me if they didn't know right. this stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's tough to give something like this up, but uh, yeah. it's that time. And we've got a lot of good people, so I'm there to support them. I'm always going to be there, and, and like I told them the other night, and they, they uh, voted to keep me out of the lifetime, and, and yeah. I, I appreciate that. And, 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 yeah. and people in this township, in, the, in every township around us mm -hmm. that we've been to, I mean, I've been all the way Alliance, Sebring, oh, yeah. Salem. We've been in here to help all them. So oh, yeah. whoever we can help, that's what we're here for. And so yeah. I just hope that the people can keep going and I know they will. It'll get better. We're in the twenty first century now, you know? Yeah. So, and uh, like I said, it's changed from raincoat when I went out when I got on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean and I, people oh, yeah. kind of chuckled, but yeah. I'm the last member of the when we started our ambulance service from the original part of okay. so the last when yeah. I passed the torch on down yeah. so much. Yeah. Uh, like I told him I could still do blood pressure and stuff so if we was to have something I I wouldn't be there to help. Yeah. But uh, yeah. to get up in the middle of the night and stuff I just <laughs> haven't been able to do it yeah. and think so. But again I appreciate the people and the response that we've gotten from the from residents of this township. So Again, it's been a pleasure to not 
Thank you. 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 Thank
for consultation. Okay. I'll second the motion to have the offender come up. Mr. McCracken? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Stratton? Yeah. Mr. Mason? Yes. The other thing with the grants, we need to decide exactly what scope of work we want to do. By that, we're going to go after the money, or request money, to dredge the edges of the pond, clean it up, put the proper fish in that we need, put the air stones in. Do we also want to incorporate getting prices on repairing the trails? I think there's a safety aspect there that would help us with getting the grant because People who are slightly disabled or elderly could trip on the, the big base that's starting to push up. We just need to decide right now, do we just want to go after money to to do the pond or do we want to look at the pond and the trails both? What's the what's the match on this grant? That I don't remember. Because that makes a big difference on what yeah, we that, have available. That I honestly don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, John, there are percentages, but Summed up to 50%, that's why we're just wondering. Yeah, that gonna throw that's us a in lot, there? yeah. You know. um. I'd maybe check on that. Well, yeah, I guess we could check on that. We get him up here, and our September meeting, we could firmly say on that. Okay. Uh, and we still should be able to get things rounded up and done, so. All right. Uh, I really can't put a figure out there. What we I don't remember control. seeing on yeah. everything that I've read online. I don't remember seeing a percentage. Yeah, and I, I mean, maybe it's a hundred percent, but I doubt it. it just uh, most. If of the I remember right, on the pre-application, it has the percentage that you're going to match, but I don't remember mm -hmm. seeing anything online that says what the actual percentage is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bob sure. just a comment about yeah. the date. For the next meeting mm -hmm. might be back a week and might get you pretty close. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because we're rescheduling the meeting. So you could always so. have a special that uh, or a work uh, session to go over it. Yeah. Well, that's very true. Do you want to set up a work session to do that and um, the fair display at the same time? Yeah, we could do that. No way we can. So, uh, yeah. To do that in what? I'm sorry. Uh, to work on the fair display and a work session for. Oh, okay. We could do both at once. Yeah, we could do that. And then we can come up with a game plan, and then we can approve it at the September meeting. So, yeah. That'd be next week, really. Oh, yeah. Then we have about two weeks to yeah. Yeah. sixteen days or something. Yeah. So Well we'll get our all our picture stuff done and get your mm -hmm. TVs and then we'll sort of set how much we have so we can make sure okay. we have right. here. So yeah. we'll okay. just get together on that and we'll get We'll announce it so that everybody knows when the work session is. I'll post it on the doors. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the only other thing, Randy, I noticed up at Brooker Park, do you still have any little bit of that bird screen left that you used in the garage? Yes. That gazebo in Brooker Park, somebody's wanting to have a wedding over there, they're requesting. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the birds are getting up in that cupola on that gazebo, mm -hmm. and they've got nests, and they're making a mess out of the gazebo. Um, if you guys get a day that it's raining, maybe run over there, get the nests out, put the bird screen up so they can't get back in, and maybe clean the pavilion up a little bit if it's going to be used. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. That's going to be in October. So yeah, it's October. It's not six. like the rush. Right. It's just something you could do someday when it's rainy, and I mean, it's not going to take that long, but yeah. they're really? just making a mess yeah, out of it. Yeah, we have one here a couple of years Really? Ago. That's really yeah. neat. So. Do you know this girl? Mm -hmm. Courtney? I don't know her. Yeah. Just a, really cool, though. just a a family function they go all yeah. just a close get together on it. But yeah, I mean I don't think anything we gotta make make a motion on. We don't charge for the use of the park, so I'll just let her know. It's okay if you guys are fine with it. Yeah. So. All right, I do have one other thing and that is um, 
there's a family that um, has purchased a stone for their mother. They would like to try to get it set. They have family coming in from out of town the first part of September. I had talked to Randy and Matt, and now that we have a dimension on this stone for Mrs. Mayton, maybe if we could go ahead and get those footers poured before the end of the month. Or if I could do it before the end of the month, it would probably be better. I think we just add the two. That will be our second pouring for this year. Any other requests that come in would be tabled until next year then. Okay. That's all right. <coughs> Mm -hmm. That's fine. Is Mrs. Weingart going to need any pouring? Mm -hmm. She's married. I think it's a Weingart, yeah. Mm -hmm. to you may want to include her if it's possible. I don't know. I don't know if the ground settled or. The one we just buried. That was a couple she weeks ago. Stone, I think. What's that? The lady we just buried, I think yeah. she has a stone. I guess they, I've heard they might have a combo stone there, probably. But, uh, and I think they have a stone. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard they would, but uh, that's the only other one I can think of that might need a foundation. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have. Right? With okay. the dimensions on that stone, what size do you think we ought to make that? Well, for? that's what mm. <laughs> that's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got your rock. Okay. <laughs> well, she just never answered, so I went down to her house and got pictures of it, and then the dimensions, like we talked, and you know, all. Randy's going to, I believe I'm going to take Randy over so he can actually look at it and make sure how the flat is and then get a hold of Mr. Hillis. Yeah, I just say because Hillis is the one who should tell us what size it should be. So. Yeah. You know. And Randy's yeah. already, we already, he's going to be fine with that. Okay. All right. I don't think, think it'll be a problem. It don't have to be more of a square than a rectangle, probably. Huh? Probably, yeah. yeah. Put a, put a dip in the middle of it <laughs> on the grave a little bit so uh, I guess we need to should we prove that now so she can move on uh, with that and go take it to get it you know uh, so it never gave her yeah. I mean, you know, do you, you want to see it first I mean, if I do then you feel it fits <coughs> the size of the one that we've already got in the cemetery. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, sort of looks like I think it's thing. bigger. Yeah. This one's a little bigger. bigger. This one's bigger. It's, it's a little, little bit round. bigger, but the size of the foundation is going to be is not much more than a normal foundation. Okay. All is not encroaching a bigger space than the others do. Right. Well, we don't want something that's going to go off a lot onto somebody else's right. seat. Right. Right. What's so. the dimensions on it? 31 inches wide and 29 inches tall. Um, that's not really that. So about Big. No. 31 both ways. 29 and 31. Yeah, right. Correct. Yeah. That way, yeah. Same. Yeah. Two and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bars are only like 20 wide, so we'll have to stretch it out a little bit, probably. Yeah, we'll talk to Hills. It depends. I mean, the top of the stone's wide or the bottom's not going to be as wide as what the center of the stone is. So right. yeah. mm -hmm. when we talk to Hillis, if he can uh, flatten it down a little bit, you're only going to need the pad not much bigger than what the actual base of the rock is. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And whenever you want to go over, we'll drag over there. It's a pretty good size stone. <laughs> yeah, the, the center is going to be the widest part because the stone is shaped like this. So the bottom, I mean, you wouldn't have to make the footer as wide as what the center of the stone is because there's not going to be anything resting on that. Right. Yeah, yeah you might have to go like 24 or 26 right. or something. But, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I would make a motion that we go ahead and accept allowing this stone because it's not a standard <coughs> marker, but it does fall within the parameters of the size of the other stones are in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. So since it's not a standard marker per se as our uh, rules and regulations require, mm -hmm. I would make a motion that we go ahead and accept this variance. Okay. On, on its own, not as a... No, this, this would be this yes. individual yes. case here. individual case, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll second the motion since you just did that, right? 
for Captain Mighton. Okay, so I'm going to approve a variance on the foundation for Jane Mighton. Yes. To install the stone, and that kind of limits it to one person. Yes. Right. Yes. So. All, all, uh, Mrs. Strang. Yes. Mr. Beeson. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she'll be happy. I want to thank Tom, too. Thank you very much for all your hard work. That's all. You've been dedicated. It was enjoyable. Yeah. Still is. I mean, it's not. I, I know you've seen a lot of bad stuff out there. But you know what? The little one that I delivered in, in the ambulance, you know, that makes, that makes you a hard. <laughs> yeah, talk about her. That, yeah. 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 Take back of all the yeah. ones that you help. Yes, yeah. for sure. And, uh, Thank you. You do your best, and, that, and I hope that's for the, it's good enough for yeah. them up there. Yeah. I called the yard mm -hmm. and got uh, the dollar amount how much that would be for pictures right. for six of us. You want to get your picture taken? No. Okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> but I, I've got a Santa Claus outfit for you. <laughs> Maybe around Christmas. There you go. <laughs> Paul, we, uh, we would have you take your picture of four. You, well, Spike, we got to get yeah. tell him, but we, we decided we maybe would wear a green polo shirt. So yeah, we're kind of green and go. Do you have a green? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, have yeah, like a green polo shirt, Paul. I thought we'd do all matching, and basically if we could. Why not have an old recycle? There you perfect, go. Perfect, perfect. I still got it. Okay. Know. Are they all going to be different color greens? Is that going to look bad? Well, we're being taken down. You know, I think since each picture is separate, I don't think it'd be a big deal. Okay. But, uh, all right. I don't know. Okay. Are you going to take a minute with the background? Yeah, we're going to have some sort of background, yeah. quite like we did before, what our lady has there for the Yeah, he wants us to go to his house. We don't have to go all together. You know, we can yeah. just uh, I can get to the phone and we we'll call and say, hey, yeah. or just show up at his house. You know, where is that? And Who is it? Lee Iron. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but from the fair? And it'll be yeah. $45 for all six of us. Which isn't bad at all. And he'll give me the thing, and then I'll take and print them up. But we need to have them we're by... We're going to get the digital it's for the mm -hmm. website? Well, right. she's she gonna have a uh, good thumbprint. Yeah, so you mean the for the fair thing? No, for our oh. website. Oh, yeah. Website you know, you yeah. never got your picture yeah. in. I know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
on Friday to uh, that, yeah that thing's Friday yeah that's Friday yeah. okay yeah well, Sundays Sundays yeah okay what time are you guys <coughs> going up do you know yet I don't even know what time it starts okay it's 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 Friday. 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 I think it's 8 o'clock registration. Friday the 17th. Oh, you mean the fair? Yeah, oh, they're going on the 23rd. 23rd. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. talking about the Cerny uh, thing for the classes up there, Cerny Motors. We oh, talked about last okay. week. Okay. Yeah. So, and also, um, we discussed about um, the use of the grader for closing the track right. at the end of the year. And I talked to Randy at full Saturday night. He was talking to me, and they'd like to come sometime this week, weather permitting, to close the track up. And okay. So you're going to let me know, right? I'll let you know. I'll, you know, I'll talk to Chris and see when they feel it's feasible. If it's muddy, you can't do it. Well, so another day or two now. I would say. It of it. Yeah, it doesn't sound too promising <laughs> out there. So uh, just want to make sure it's okay with you guys. If we do yeah. that. So. Yeah. Okay. They'll be happy. Okay. And uh, tire collection pricing, we sort of went over that. We'll get with Paul on that. Uh, seal master, we got an extra skid of material for crack sealing to do Dunkirk Road down here while they had the machine. And uh, from the looks of it, I think I talked to Randy. Probably this fall we'll do some more since we're not doing anything else on the roads. Uh, the job, really to, good. job to me on there, like I say, secrets is going to be questionable, but we've got some other roads that I think really could use it before winter sets in. So we'll mm -hmm. look at that maybe in September for October or something. So, okay. you, know, you can sort of see what roads you think would be the best since you guys were out and did it, and, right. uh, and then we can get it lined up again. So, yeah. I was looking at Pine Lake. It looks a little it just neat chip put on it. Yeah. I didn't know if the wide ones on it. I mean, some of them, there's no way we're going to get all the spidering done, but whether right. some of them would help keep it together till we get on there. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we're going to look at here, too, we've got to decide which roads we want to put on the grant, too, for uh, here, because I have to have that in here on August uh, 27th, so... Um, you? Uh, yeah. Whoa. That's one after that. We won't have so another. This. No. Yeah, so. Yeah, we basically just have to come up with a road and sort of a dollar amount we want to go with. And uh, I don't know if you looked over uh, what we'd had. Yeah, I drafted up. Uh, How much they give us? Well, I mean, we can apply for anything. That's the, that's the thing. It's not... Uh, I, I was trying to figure... Smith Goshen would be a good candidate. Yeah, the one we just did? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the far. Oh, the upper end? Yeah. yeah. And... He never did anything like that, that guy, did he? Uh, he never got back. No, he, uh, he wanted a bunch more money. Yeah. Oh, he did it? He had to bring all his stuff out and repair it. He was hoping to get some this year, but... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see what he had on Smith Goshen. Uh, Garfield is 62. Smith Goshen's uh, the third one down. Well, that's just the one section. He's got them all oh, picked okay. up here, so. 165 minus what is 165 Pine Lake. Fourteen to Middletown. Middletown 165. He had it down for the Pug Mix Pave chip seal and the fog seal. That will come up to 139, 733 is what he's got. His specs do all of that. Uh, well, he's got a 42 rating, so it is one of our lower roads right now. Uh, what's he have pine like yet? Yeah, 
I'm like he still got us at a 72 on that. Mm -hmm. Chip seal. Yeah, just for chipping frog seal. Yeah, it's so not too bad. So it's not near as bad. He's just coming out of it yet, like Smith Dyson does. Yeah. So it's 33137 is what we got on that one. The cost to do it? Yeah, that's his. Probably have that kind of money it left. And, uh, well, I'm looking at what we put into the grant. Oh, okay. what I'm, uh, yeah. Well, my thought is, is it's good with you guys. Why don't I put in two? You, you can do that. Okay. I'll put in the one. It's a lower figure. And the one up there will apply for both of them, but separate. And maybe we'll get one or the other at sure. least that way. I think those are two good ones to go with. Mm -hmm. Tell me what they are. Uh, Plant like from Duck Creek to go or down to the curves. Where we stop Duck Creek. Yeah, it's Plant Lake Road. Two curve. curve. Yeah. That's where we okay. That's where we get our chip and seal and yeah, Perry. So. Okay. Yeah. Which would be good to finish that one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
they're giving us reasons why they're not going after collection. <coughs> if they're too small, they say it's not feasible for them to Spend put the money. money out to go for them. Uh, so these people get to skate. I don't like that, but yeah. So we're going to discuss that. But Some are yeah. 17 years. They've mm -hmm. made payments 17 yeah. years. So, yeah. but, but it's only 10 or 15 bucks a month, a year or so. But a few that we've brought up have got to put on a payment plan. A few of them's paid off mm -hmm. uh, since we've been discussing it. So maybe conversations are helping a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll keep it on going. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And. Uh, Okay. And we generally wouldn't order a new cruiser this soon, uh, but the Explorers is the first of September they're going to quit making the Explorer cruisers. Good. Good. <laughs> is GM coming out with anything yet? Is GM coming out with any cruisers yet? I don't think so, but I'm working on that. <laughs> they need to. Seems like every so many years it goes from right. one, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. one manufacturer to another. I know, it does. It just flops around. Um, it sure does. But we are due for uh, another one, and it's due for the SUV on this one. Um, We've had enough problems with the Dare car. I think it's just time to get rid of it. Is that what this trade is? Yeah, that's what this trade is. How come these two mm -hmm. do not have uh, trades? Lebanon does not want it as a state purchase, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't take the trade. Um, and Fairway, he supposedly took it up there, and they must not have wanted to give a trade on when he got the price. Yeah. John, and Fairway, I think, was a lot higher just in general on the yeah, cost of the yeah, they're, they're car in general. So I think yeah. it was one of those where the cost of the car was so much higher. Yeah, Unless you're going to come up that much on the trade, which I highly doubt was going to happen. Probably take it up because yeah. they are there uh, just under 5,000 more than what... Uh, and I don't think they were giving us another five. And, uh, and then Lebanon has the delivery charge. Uh, Lebanon's a lot cheaper. Yeah. Uh, if we had a way to get rid of the other. So, I mean, we used to go to the state purchase, mm -hmm. and um, I've gone and picked them up. Of course, we haven't gone to Lebanon. We used to go to um, turn to get a Ford dealer. You remember, Todd, where it was? It was out. Yeah, because we had to go out. Yeah, I forget the name of it. There used to be this one for state was purchase. Was it Best Ford or 40, 42? Yeah, 40 something there. Yeah, it was 42, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, something like that. So, um, so these, are, these are the prices we got. So, um, yeah, if we went with Lebanon, we'd have to get. I'm just trying to figure the difference here. We'd see how much we'd have to get so out to break even. Yeah, basically, of the car. My feeling is, Sershon's price is the best. They're taking the old car. We don't have to pull around and try to get rid of it. And they're a lot closer if it does need service or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, mean, I guess that's the thing. I, the only thing I look at is, is when I was first here, we used to go through advertising and taking bids on the cars and then showing them to people. And it was just... Uh, for all the more getting it was just a hard thing to do and then we got to trading and actually we was getting more out of the trades for so many years even on the crown fix yeah. uh, here we was getting a thousand twelve hundred and four and we were yeah. getting twenty five to three thousand when we was trading them so and didn't have the headaches so um, I mean we just need to order one tonight but I, I don't know which way you guys want to go so I'll leave it up to you our shows. Did you yeah. say they're going to quit making the Ford Explorer in yeah. September? Uh, September 1st is the last order date, so... Mm. So nobody else is making an SUV uh, cruiser? No, not time being. I guess... Not the time anymore. Yeah. 
They did. They don't. They're only two wheel drive. Yeah. They talked about building one four wheel drive. I don't think mm -hmm. they did. They never they? have. Yeah. yeah. I don't know whether Ford's going to revamp and do it or Chrysler or GM's going to come out with one. It's hard to say because I guess uh, the other Ford Cruiser they're going to delete it here next year. It's coming off the market, so yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen after that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you get little, little smart cars like yeah. you get some a dozen of those. <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. So what, what, what's your thoughts? I want to get your opinion too. Oh, so. no. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised they, the trade goes up with it, you know, because this Lebanon is a lot cheaper mm -hmm. than yeah. the Charchon. Yeah. And But with mm -hmm. the trade, you know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah we and and get I, one order, we gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, and I, I agree with what you're saying. <coughs> I guess so to match this, basically we'd have to get them down another fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. I have no problem of approaching them because I've always been told this one on the last one this is a match anybody else's price. Mm -hmm. So if they would come down 15. The last, yeah, it's, it's the last yeah. three, four times it was in, we paid mm -hmm. for it. We didn't, Scotia Township mm -hmm. didn't even pay for yeah. it. So yeah. it's not costing, yeah. besides put gas in it. Yeah. 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 It's not costing us any money. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd have that car. Well. But it's so a, I mean, it's up to you guys. I don't. So what you're saying is, is go ahead with, go with love and keep the car. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. I okay. Mean, it's cheaper. Yeah. yeah. If you can get two thousand dollars out of it. Yeah. Well, it's about fifteen hundred if he mm -hmm. wants a call. I mean, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. I have no problem with that. So, uh, so let's let's approve Robin's price. Why not? Um, they match it. Fine yeah. if they don't. If they're not taking the end of a loan trade, they very well may come yeah. down in price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's approve the twenty-five, twenty-nine thousand two ninety-nine, and I'll work out the particulars. <laughs> I want to get your involvement. We've always had this discussion, so and I know where you stand, so yeah. <laughs> and I have no problem with that either. Oh, okay. but, uh, no, no, not whatsoever. So I mean, unless it's warranty, work any any four dealer close yeah. by can do the warranty. Yeah, work. yeah, warranty does. And you don't have to so. take you know your yeah. oil change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, where you buy the right. spec warrant used to many years ago, but yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. So. You it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. We're going to approve twenty nine thousand two ninety nine, and if they match it, we'll go there. Well, plus one fifty, right? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll add that in there. All right. So, yeah. That's a, that yeah. Some yeah. of them do. I don't yeah. know. Like in there, he'll probably get rid of that. Or, you know. Yeah. And just make it the twenty nine. Thirty thousand forty nine with the destination fee. Yeah. Thirty. Thirty thousand. Okay. So if they match it, we'll take it. If not, we'll get a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make the motion. Okay, I'll second the motion. Please cruise through. Afford. I said it. No. You said it. I said it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we did when we had our work session. We had uh, mid-year employee evaluations. Uh, I felt that everything was running good with where everybody was at we discussed. So uh, I don't know if you guys have any comments on what is in there. Or Do you do? Uh, well, I mean, that's up to you guys, so whatever you want to do. I don't know where I'm at on it. So. <laughs> I feel that this time we could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Go, go ahead and bring it up. Then. Yeah. I'm going to put you guys' thing. Oh. <laughs> So we decided we were going to. Well, you guys discussed it at right. first. Well, the tier. We were talking about it that day. Yeah, that day we had a meeting. Yeah. I would make a motion that we get a recycling coordinator for retroactive back to July 1st. What? Was it was it July 1st that we had talked what? about? What? Mm -hmm. Are you going to retro this thing? Yeah. Maybe we just started now. Uh, effective yeah. immediately. Effective, uh, right. effective next right. payday or something, but not, yeah. not uh, retro. Yeah, okay. Those are hard to figure, to run. Yeah. Let's not get it hard work. Everybody's doing a great job. <laughs> Paul, you're okay with that? If it's in, like now? I can use a line verse next year. I'll second the motion. All right. 25 cents to Paul. Or Coordinator. Roll call vote. Who's, who's up? I guess Mr. Beeson. Yes. Mr. McCracken. Paul, I want to explain before I vote. I'm going to vote no, only for the reason, nothing against you, is we've always had this over the years of part time employees were at one and full time were other. And I feel them. In the back of my mind, your part-time employee would give you it. I'm going to get a lot of flack from all the rest that don't. So, and again, nothing against you. Well, it's but, like I said before, yeah. Bob. Yeah. Um, as a recycling coordinator, I'm not part-time. Yeah. I mean, the hours, yes. Yeah. And. But I, and I get calls every, you know. Right. All and, the time. Yeah. So, and is this part of the job? I, I, and I, like I said, I fully understand. I, I agree with it. And you're going to get it. That's not, that's not an issue. I just want to explain why and my feeling. And it's just because I have so many other part-timers that I have to answer to, too. And um, I don't think you know, that, we're, that we're not explaining yeah. it properly. I yeah. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't see it the same way. Well, I, and I, 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 I know we don't. And going into next year when we sit down, when we're doing budgets and that, we'll try and get all this ironed out yeah. beforehand so we're not into this discussion again. But um, that's the only reason I'm going to say no is for that reason. It's not going to keep you from getting it, or I probably would, would change my mind, but I just want to set us up. Okay. So. This is Greg? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't want any hard feelings because I brought you along. We've been friends too many years and it's nothing to do with that. I've thanked you for it many times. Yeah, yes you have and uh, I, I want to work with you in the future. It's just because of other reasons. So, Okay. Uh, okay, another thing I've been looking at and i got to find the paperwork here. I'll give you guys a copy because I've been working on this. This folder's been you know, from clear back in, what's the date on this one? The collection, single waste hauler with curbside recycling at every residence with their own bin. Doing away with the sites, which the county's going to do this within another year or two anyhow. That's been their game plan. So we're sort of looking at ahead, but still keep our funding that we get from solid waste to do training with people 
check in containers when they put them out, make sure they're not putting the proper things in, wrong things in. So it'd be just driving around and yeah. doing things like that. So you'd still have as many hours, if not maybe a few more, just doing it in a little different way. Yeah, and it's, we're just all in discussion now. It's nothing that's going to happen overnight. Uh, but it just would save so many things. Damascus right now, we have five different or garbage trucks companies running every week on those streets with these triaxle trucks. It's bad enough on the roads out here, but Damascus streets can't have, developments can't handle it. That's what's hard on the developments. Mm -hmm. It's hard on all of them. Where do they park? On the berm of the road every time they stop. What breaks up the berm of the road is the weakest point of the road. After their second pickup, they're basically overloaded on a garbage truck because the equipment's so heavy on. And so that's one issue. Uh, everybody I've talked to is basically paying at least 50 to $55 or higher a quarter for garbage service right now. That's just for garbage. If we go to single hauler system that they have, we figure 800 homes in Goshen Township. I've got one quart so far of $14.53 a month, including curbside recycling with a separate container. Both containers are coming included, which we don't have a lot of people using bag service yet. This is the big carts, one for recycling, one for trash. Uh, of course, we would have to bid it out if we decide to go with it, so we might even get a better price than that. Uh, Liberty Township's been doing it for several years now. Uh, several townships around Columbus, south of Columbus, towards Dayton, we've been doing it for about five to seven years. It's working really good for everybody down there. Um, and as Paul, you know, we're getting so much trash in the recycling bins right now. Right now, we're at 20 to 23 percent junk material wow. in all the drop-off sites. In all the places, because Youngstown, Austin Town Boardman is doing curbside right now in the small totes. The ones that's curbside are down to 7 percent. It's that big of a difference. Our site's not as bad because we're a manned site. So many townships don't have manned sites anymore. So it's just your garbage getting put into them. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're finding swimming pool liners. Uh, well, I mean, you see it all there. You pull it out. And uh, the tires. The tires. I mean, uh, two weeks ago up in, uh, I think it was one of Boardman's sites, there was 11 tires buried in the bottom of one of them. Wow. I mean, people's just doing anything and everything when these sites are open 24 hours a day. And we can't monitor them constantly. Even put camera systems up, it doesn't it doesn't catch everything that's going in and out. So that's why the county is looking at down the road of doing this. And I think it's something I don't know, Milton Township's interested, Springfield's possibly, um, Berlin is, Jackson's talked about it. Ellsworth's talked about it, and Green's talked about it. So um, we're sort of the guinea pig maybe going forward with it, but I want you guys to think about it. This here is actually the, the law on it and what we can do. And uh, basically it's section two. Mm -hmm. Right here's what we can do. We can do it as long as the three of us vote unanimous on it. We can pay, approve this. It doesn't have to be on a ballot or anything like that. And how long would the contract be good for, Bob, before it had to be rebid? We could set that. How long would we put? We'd have to do a bid packet and propose it to any waste haulers that's out there. You can do it one year, you can do it two year, you can do it three year. You can do it with the one with the night renewals. I mean, many ways we could go with it if uh, you guys were interested. So. Who did you price that off? Was that like BFI? That was Ohio oh, Valley. Ohio Valley, that's right. Yes. And I'll see. 
And I just sort of get your feeling tonight. We're going to have you talk about tomorrow's Salt Waste meeting, and I just uh, sort of want to get you guys' feelings whether it's something you want to look into, and if you're interested in doing it, so I can pass it on. Uh, the other townships like to have sat down if we're interested, in maybe you know, seeing what we our thoughts are, get their thoughts mm -hmm, on it. Sure. And, uh, so, I mean, I. The townships has done, and especially um, you remember Greg Hanahan, he was yeah. OTA president. He was the first one I know did it down in German Township in Montgomery County. Uh, I've got all his paperwork. They did it back in 2005 or six, and the first year the residents was in an uproar because they didn't have a choice. But by the second year. Well, it was only 10% of oh, an no, uproar, and everybody else was happy because of the price cut. I mean, it's a good dollar savings for everybody, plus what it saves our roads. So, mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah. And I haven't sat down, I'm going to sit down and talk to more with them on business and so forth. Because also, they're going to offer the bigger containers for like businesses for the cardboard recycling yeah. and so forth. Yeah. You know, we had to delete a few years ago. Sure, yeah. And so, I think we can bring the business loop back into the recycling with this too. So, is that going to dissolve the green team some point down the road? No, no. What would be the mission? Uh, basically, setting all this up, and we still have all the training. Well, I thought we were doing this on our own. Well, we are, but they're still going to be funding us to do the training and oversee it all. Like I say, it's basically just going to be a transition mm -hmm. of what we're doing, but it's still the same thing. So and they don't have the plan <clears throat> We're actually working on a, new, on a new solid waste plan, which is uh, a 10-year plan for the green team, which starts in 2021. So that'll go to 2031. So, you know, this is going to be a long, long past for you and I, or any of us that's here. So... Uh, it's just a, a thing of the time just going to change. I don't know if you read the papers. Salem's looking at this. Washingtonville's looking at it right now. Uh, Salem tried to go with it a year ago, or maybe two years ago. They had a little uproar because of one of their garbage services in town. Didn't want to do the recycling, but he has customers, which he's got some issues now. Actually, the Board of Health is really cracking down on their company because it's blowing across the street leading into the yeah. creek bed down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're actually running up swap there that they're not allowed to do. They're dumping dumping trucks, packing it, and figuring the land go that way. But that's between the Board of Health and them. That's not us. But, um, I mean, it's going to create some issues with businesses and people and so forth. But I think with the savings, it's something to really look into. So, mm -hmm. you know. so. Well, Tom, you guys are both township residents. What would your feeling <coughs> be if this was <coughs> been happening? Because I was just, uh, you know, my son lives in Maui. They do that, but they have three containers. Okay. They have one for your grass clippings, your leaves, okay. and you know that green stuff. That that you put one in that. Then you have one for just garbage, mm -hmm. and then you have one for the recycled plastics right. and papers. Mm -hmm. So they have the three bins, mm -hmm. and they do it a different day every week, and yeah. you just you take them down. I, yeah. I recycle everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I, right. I, I want to go home tonight, and I'll, I'll have a garbage bag about this full yeah. of garbage, what I call garbage. Yeah. But I, I recycle all my tree limbs, my grass clippings and all that stuff. Yeah. But I got, you know, I've, I've got a place in the back that I, it's right. like a compost bin. Right. And so yeah. I recycle all that stuff. And that's stuff. a good thing, point you brought up is, is also in this, like for Damascus, our developments and so forth, our small residences, we can offer a spring and fall cleanup with these companies in our contract also. I mean, these are all things that we can put in in the, the bid package. Uh, my daughters in Illinois have a they have a single pickup and they have the, the two bins, the recyclable mm -hmm. and the and then mm -hmm. I think it's <coughs> it's either once a month or every other week they have a lawn yeah. waste mm -hmm. cleanup day. Yeah. But 
that may be run by the city. Yeah. But yeah. I'm sure it's a single single pickup, and they have the curbside yeah. recycling with bins, not just a little tote. All right. And which I wouldn't like the little totes because I think it's going to end up going all over the place. Yeah, the little yeah. ones are. That's yeah. why they're going with the full full ones, which I think is the way to go. Yeah. The only thing I can see is, I mean, for myself, we buy the bag. We, we do it by the bag. Mm -hmm. And we put a bag out every other week. Yeah. Maybe for a third week. Yeah. I don't know if the kids are here. Yeah. Uh, for us, but... But what's it, what's it costing you, know, you to do it that way? I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, there's a there's a monthly charge, even, right. and then plus buying the bag. Yeah. So, uh, I doubt that it would be much different. That's why I'm trying to talk to all different people in different areas, what, what their costs are, but it seems like everybody's been floating in that $50-$55 range per quarter, so this here's going to be $42, so, I mean, and, uh, so it's going to be savings plus getting the recycling, and I think it will pick up a recycling oh, tremendously yeah. if everybody had a curbside, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but like you talk about price. Mm -hmm. Now they don't have to take it from their house and drive to the recycle right. center. Right. That's, That's one of the things. You know, yeah. look at the gas they're going to save. They don't have to do it yeah. because of that. You know, yeah, they don't want to take it ever. They yeah. won't have the time. Well, and, and it's just easier to throw it away. Mm -hmm. and, and I get yelled at because I've got three recycling containers in my garage. And my wife, they're overflowing before I get them in my truck and take them over all the time. I'm getting yelled at every other yeah. week because I know they're piled up and I don't get it over there. Which just really gave my headaches. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not the OTA. They yeah. had those mini, mini <coughs> containers mm -hmm. yeah. that are much smaller than mm -hmm. the, the, the big ones right. that you're talking yeah. about. And maybe yeah. uh, maybe you could a person like you, Ron, yeah. with a big one. Yeah. Huh? Wouldn't need a, a real big one. Yeah, you could yeah. go with a mini and, right. and maybe yeah. Yeah. fill it every two or three weeks. I think a, I think a main thing is going to be uh, education. Yeah. As mm -hmm. far as Presenting it in a way that people see that it saves them okay. Right. Okay. money. Okay. Right. It saves them. Time. They they can be good people and recycle yeah. without any effort. Yeah. And it just cuts down on, on truck traffic, especially in uh, tighter areas like Damascus. The right. only the only thing with what you said, Tom, is not a reasonable thing. thing. And some of now anyway. Because they're using self loaders for the cart oh, yeah. system. And they're only made to fit the one size cart. Yeah. So yeah. And the slanker, yeah. Yeah. But you get the uh, yeah, that is a good yeah. idea, but we'd have to do one or the other. So yeah. now how would that work, Bob? As far as you've got one bin one tote that's recycling? But one that's trash, are they going to pick up on two separate days? Are they going to have two trucks on the same day? Uh, they basically will set schedules. I think, like at Liberty, trash is on Mondays and I think recycling is Wednesdays. Okay. Uh, Depending on the side of the town, like our area, whether they could do it all on one day or if they split days, these things all would have to be discussed. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, no, generally, it's two different days on them. Uh, one of the developments in one of the cities did have it same day, I believe. And all the truck actually pulling the other one around. But they don't both out at the same time. The, um, yeah, all, the, all those things, you know, would be things in our bid packet. Uh, because we would have to stipulate all these things so that everybody's bidding on the same exact right. thing. If it weren't right. done. Same day, separate day. Mm -hmm. The nice thing would be to consider it as the same. That you could do it, get them to do it the same yeah. day. Yeah. And then people could put their stuff out in the morning, mm -hmm. bring it back in when they don't work, yeah. instead of having to do it two days. Right. And what's really nice, especially like in Damascus, everybody's containers out the same day. You don't have trash containers yeah. every day of the week sitting out mm -hmm. there. Right. Coons yeah. getting into them, throwing stuff out. I mean, everybody has the same. same if, when you're yeah. looking at it, and yeah. just a thought is, I know my daughters, they, yeah. it's the same day. Mm -hmm. That's a great uh, point. Whether they run two trucks or whether they yeah. can do, right. you know, half and half, yeah. and, you know, yeah. morning, yeah. afternoon, or whatever. But yeah, and these are all good questions because tomorrow I'll have all three of the big companies will be at Solid Waste meeting and they're every meeting yeah. so I can ask these questions. Yeah. Why can't you just see that as a complaint? Now i got to take stuff out for right. days a week. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, very good point, Ron. Both of the places where my daughter lives up in the they do the same. She has to 
they threw us out. I think it's Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. But and they they enforce this. You can't you can't take it out there and leave it. I yeah. mean, you take it out yeah. Wednesday night for the Thursday mm -hmm. pickup, I guess, yeah. or something like that. You know. Yeah. So she takes both of hers out for mm -hmm. that, and they they, they yeah. Yeah. But they have like they have they have a pickup for scrap tree limbs mm -hmm. and brush. Yeah. Ever so often that they mm -hmm. they go out. But they'll notify them and say, "Hey, you can put this out at the curb." And then they, I think that's the city that uh, yeah. area comes around and mm -hmm. either vacuums up the leaves, yeah. or you know, pretty much what Canfield did. I mean, you guys are always yeah. clean up some same like that. Yeah. Most of your cities have that, but that's basically the city doing that, mm -hmm. and not the trash but services. I mean, so. I mean, I think it's a good idea yeah. because you know, like you said, you know, the, the price of it. Yeah. If, if, if the price can stay close, I don't know why. Yeah, I, 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 to me, the, the price and the, the savings of the traffic on the road is what I'm looking at. It's the two biggest things. So you drive down the road and, and the garbage mm -hmm. day, you, I, it just makes me ill to see all these big cardboard boxes sitting out there. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and why yeah. can't you just break them down and throw mm -hmm. them? Yeah. Me. Yeah, I take the cardboard right. boxes and I fill them up with all my recycling mm -hmm. and I can just take the whole thing over and I yeah. set it in the I set it in the bin. Yeah. And don't, you know, it's all together. Yeah, and that's another thing with the small tubs that they're using in Boardman, Youngstown and Austin Town, they won't take cardboard. They only take recycling everything but cardboard. And they think with, with, with the big containers, you can break yeah. the cardboard down and put in them also so you can get everything in there. So Yeah. yeah. I mean that's because yeah. I recycle, I mean, I, anything that's recyclable, I, I recycle. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, we do too. I mean, uh, I have at the most two bags of garbage, one's from my garage, one's from the house a week. And, uh, everything else is recycling because uh, even our cat food candle, let's have to wash them out and they go into recycling. And yeah. They, um, I mean, that's so, a, I get yeah. tons of them, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. So. <laughs> you drive around and yeah. see yeah. they're not doing it. Cause it's okay, well, uh, it's give me some... Yeah, get some more information I'll get some more tomorrow, information right? tomorrow, and I'll have more for next meeting, so... Okay, uh, next meeting, Tom's going to be... Number 15. Oh, well, I was going to do 14. Oh, okay, first, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference. I'll give that close the meeting. No, right. no. Uh, yeah, next meeting, Tom's not going to be here on the second right. Monday. Uh, <laughs> so, do we fire him or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, uh, okay. we call it so <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be the tenth. So the seventeenth would be the Following Monday, want to go with unless you want to change days or something. Let's have to go with that Monday because that gives Tom time to get everything done. Yeah, yeah. Once I'll be back Thursday, but if you had like Thursday, you might be a rush to catch up. Yeah. No, wouldn't do that. What was that? The 17th. 17th. And then. That's a little longer to get the stuff together on the brick road park stuff for us and everything. Because so we decide for work session what we want to go verbally, then you can get some court made from some contractors on the right. clean up and so forth. So, for us to approve. So, okay. <coughs> so, that'd be the 17th. September 17th, huh? Yeah, 17th. Yeah. Okay, and the last thing is uh, the gas contract. We generally contract one or two years at a time on the natural gas for the buildings. And we're with uh, ISC, IGS. IGS, yes. Now, and there were four. Let me say four. No, okay. Yeah. We were at that. Yeah. We're at four. One six and uh, going with them, a one year contract is 466, a two years 452, a three years 452. Um, if we switch to NOPEC, which we are a uh, NOPEC provider now in Goshen Township, 
we can get a 24 month contract as of today's rate which it changed daily but today was 348 so we can save over a buck hmm. on a two year with one with no pay so <laughs> that's 60 yeah. cents less of what that's we had when it was good yeah when it was good so uh, I'll make the motion that we uh, switch to uh, no pay for gas for a 20 more 24 month period okay. I'll second the motion for no pay. Mr. Beeson yes Mr. McGregor yes yes and what I'll need is a copy of, again, of both gas bills, because I never thought about we'll switch that one over to on yeah. that building. So. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, so, okay. So, so anyone have anything else for the good of the order? No. Okay. Yeah, if nothing else, our next meeting will be September 17th, <laughs> 7 p.m. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second the motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, roll call vote, Mr. Mrs. Stratton? Yes. Mr. Beeson? Yes. Mr. McCracken? Yes. Oh, uh, the way, have you looked at car, uh, TVs at all? Mm -hmm. I thought they were, but I mean, all right yeah, now, I'm going to get it. I didn't know exactly what we yeah. were doing. Yeah. Um, hey, Tom.